Hey guys, Rusty here from the Rusty Forge. I hope you're going to enjoy this series of videos on Pixel Studio for the mobile device. Uh, this one you're going to learn some of the very basic features that you need to get started about drawing, erasing, uh, the dithering pin, your color schemes and uh, palettes, as well as some more advanced features like your layering tools and uh, some other really awesome stuff they have. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video as we set forth and create some tile sets. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new one. We're going to do 16 by 16. You're going to see a few things here, uh, like these lines right here. This is our grid. And you're going to see we have our mini map over here, and then we have these uh, things that allow us to move and zoom in out. Uh, but we're at 16 by 16, so we really don't need these. We're going to turn that off. We're going to go here, go settings, inside of settings, go to users. We're going to turn off the grid. We're going to turn on tile mode because I got pro and I like using it. We're going to turn off the mini map. Uh, we're going to turn on move and zoom gestures by hand. And we're going to turn off the restrict canvas, which makes it so we cannot move that canvas around. But with tile mode, we're really going to want to do that. So now that we're in here, uh, we want to take off this color. So we're going to use the undo. You got the undo and redo buttons. And they hold about 50 different commands in there. And it's designed by layer where you can undo and redo these things. So what we want to do is we want to select our colors. As you see up here at the top, you got your palette. And you have these empty blanks here, which allows you to add new colors to your palette. So I can add a new color, I can draw here, or you can click your palette button down here, create a new color, and select, and you can draw with it. But as you're going to see, this color is not added up here at all. Um, and so it's a standalone color, and you really want it on, on your palette. So what you can do here, let's say we change color and I want this color again, I can click here, get that. But again, it doesn't add it to our palette. So you want to click on one of these things here, click the three dots, get your dropper from here, click there, and now that adds it to your palette. Uh, but here's what we want to do. We actually want to load a palette in here. All right, since we're going to more of a space theme, we're going to go Commodore. Let's clear everything that we have in here. And let's set our symmetry. So what this does, it allows it so whatever you make on one side, uh, will automatically be made on the other side. So I only have to do literally half the work. All right, so I got my symmetry made. And we're going to start some brick layers here. So uh, go ahead and get these things going. Get some lines in here. Line there. And... We'll go here. All right. So made a mistake. I can get to my eraser, and I can clear it out. Go back here and do that. Or a better option. Let me show you a better option. Would be go to the eraser pin right over here. So as I erase it and move over, it colors in this. Now one thing I'm going to show you in a later video is how to set up your toolbars so all the ones that you use are all right here together. All right. Now let's go ahead and turn. On, let's color this in. Uh, so we use our paint bucket and um, color everything in. And one thing I don't like about this is that color, that gray, I think is too close. So let's go to the other one. But instead of having to refill all these in, I can use the other paint back with an arrow. When I click on a color, it just fills it all in um, for that. All right, so let me zoom out here. Since I have the tile set, I can see how my bricks look. And as you can see, there's some problems with them. So let's go ahead and get those fixed. Let's turn off the symmetry. And we can go ahead and get things fixed now. All right. So a few things that we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to remove some of these lines and, uh, and reorganize them a little bit. Let's, uh, here we go. All right. <clears throat> so something I want to show you here, you have this feature in your line. So when you get to your line, you can click on the feature button. You can choose the size you want your lines to be, bigger pixels, or you can choose this pixel perfect line drawing. And I like using this uh, because it allows me to keep going straight down even when I think I'm going to make a mistake. This top brick is just humongous, so we're going to also draw another down line there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, to make it easier, I'm going to use my, put, um, my dot pin. So my dot pin means I can control it from somewhere else on, on the screen, and all i got to do is press the push button, and then I can control it uh, with my finger by going somewhere else like that. All right, so we got our brick lines drawn. we got these different pins being used, um, but now we want to shade it. And so to shade it, we want to use our dot, our, our, our tether, our, not tether pin, uh, our dither, dithering pin. And what this allows us to do is it allows us to put in dark spots or light spots, and we can change the amount that it changes. And this is one of the coolest pins in the world because it makes these editings a lot easier. So at the bottom of all this, I can go and put a few dark spots here, dark spots here, and it makes our stuff look a lot better. And... It just changes it darker. Then I can go back over these dark spots again, and it makes it even more darker. Isn't that awesome? Uh, and so 
this allows us to add some shadows in here. And so what we want to do now is at the very top, we want to make it lighter. All right. Go across the top, make it all light, kind of add some shadows in here. This is where the, the or some lighting coming down farther down. Add a few more things over here. And bam. So let's make ourselves uh, four more of these, or three more of these. So what we want to do is, you know, we got our layer selected here. If we go into later options, we want to clone it. Um, so now we want to hide this one. So we got our other one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the end of the wall. All right, so let's use our eraser here. And in our eraser, we're going to go to the settings. I'm going to move this up to two. And so like, you know, as you're running, you're going to get to the end. And uh, you need a way to be able to tell that you're there. All right, so we got that. Now let's go to our tethering pin. And let's change this to darkness. And let's raise it up to about 40. And I'm just going to kind of go across. And there we go. Actually, let me change it. I'm just going to drive me crazy if I don't fix this. That's... Um, there we go. And so what, what, what we want to do is we're going to take this one. We want to clone it. Now that it's cloned, we want to go to function. And under function, we can flip it. And so if we turn this one off, you can see we now have the brick going the other way, closed. Now, let's go ahead and turn both of these off, get back to here. And we're going to make some moss. All right, so now I have this uh, a new sheet here. Uh, let's go here. Uh, set our transparency on just a little bit over half. All right, so what this is going to allow us to do is I want a darker brick. So turn this on. We can now see our bricks. What I'm going to do here is go in here. I'm going to lock this one so I cannot edit it by accident. Let's go back to this one. I do that. It make makes the bricks naturally darker. Because it's transparent, you can still see them. All right. And so now let's go to the pin and let's add some moss. Um, all right. We're going to add the moss up here at the top. Take out a little bit. All right. And since it's transparent, it plays with the same color as the uh, rest of the tiles, which makes it really helpful. It looks really nice. All right, so we got our moss here, but this isn't the color I, I want. I want the other green. So I'm going to go to this, and when I click here, it's going to change all of it to that darker green. All right, so we got that. Now let's clone this. All right. And what I'm going to do to this moss is I'm going to add some flowers to it. So let's go to this pink color. And put some here, put some here, put one there, put one there. And it just kind of gives it some decoration, makes it look nice. And uh, all, right. all right, so now that we got all this done, let's go ahead and save our files. But to do this, we're going to have to create some frames. All right, so we got our first frame. Go here, we want to clone, 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 and clone. All right, so now we have five frames all together. And on the first frame, we want to turn off everything but that first box. Second one, we just want to turn off the, everything but the transparency and the first box. Third one, we just want to leave it as it is. Fourth one, turn off everything and turn that one on. And this one, turn this one on, turn everything else off. All right, now that we got that done, what we can do is we can get in here, we can go to save. And as you can see, we have our different parts here. It's an animation. Um, so let's go ahead and save our project here. There we go. And now let's save it as a sprite sheet. All right, so we go to sprite sheet here. It shows all of our sprites um, and everything that they look like. And we can apply this and save. And now we have our successful sprite sheet. Guys, I hope this is beneficial, and I look forward to helping you guys in our next tutorial.